what's going on? Welcome to a new video. We are in Promtep Cape Pet this morning. I'm on a sunrise hike and I've just finished listening to an audiobook that is absolutely amazing. This book I would put firmly in the category of must read. This book is an absolute must read or listen. This book is so cool. I didn't expect it to be. I thought it was going to be another book on how to optimize time, how to make the most of what you've got with like tools and tactics. But in this case, it turns out to be way more like philosophical and way more to switch perspectives. The book I'm talking about is called 4,000 Weeks, Time Management for Mortals. And this book, man, is absolutely amazing. 4,000 weeks is around the number of weeks that humans live on average to about 80 years old. And this book talks about how to make these 4,000 weeks count. And it does that in a variety of different ways. It starts off with time and understanding some concepts about time that oftentimes we don't think about. And that is essentially boils down to the fact that, as some philosophers say, we are time. Time is not something that we are into. Time is what we are, because without time, basically we would not exist. So the flow of time is something that is inherently connected to our life. The author goes along to try and explain how in his life he has tried so many different productivity hacks, uh, so many different ways to try and control time. And controlling time is a thing that in this society right now is something that everybody wants to do. Everybody wants to have the perfect morning routine, the perfect work schedule, the perfect batch working schedule, the perfect way to basically make the most of the time that we've got doing stuff, getting things done. And of course, I'm not going to give too much away because I think this book is an absolute must read. What this book says is that basically the most important thing is knowing what you want to get done, knowing what you should be doing and what you want to be doing with your life and understanding that you cannot master time. The whole message of this book is that time cannot be mastered. So you cannot find a productivity system that is always bound to fail. I've tried so many different things, but they always fail in the long run because they're not sustainable. And why is this? Because like this book states, you cannot master time. Time cannot be mastered. Time is something that you need to understand and live with, but you cannot master time. Or if you try and master time, probably isn't going to be the most effective use of it. Oftentimes we might find ourselves trying to squeeze in as many things as possible in a day, as many things. Because of society, we value our life in our output. So how many things we can do, how many things we can put out, how many things we can see that we've accomplished during a day. And this brings on to-do lists and all these different productivity strategy that self-development books are always talking about how to maximize your time, how to maximize your productivity, how to get the most out of the day. With, with insane morning routines that nobody can do year in, year out. Pomodoro techniques, the author lists all the cliches of time management, basically. Basically, the whole message of the book is to boil down what we are doing to the moment. So doing the next best thing. So really living in the moment and focusing on the moment and what we're doing and to try and live that way and to embrace time but not try to control it. I believe everybody is always trying to control time. Hell, even me, I'm always trying to control time. But this book states the opposite. So you should not try and control it but you should just live with it and make the most of what you can in every moment of life, which I think is an absolutely beautiful message. It goes way more in depth in the book and I would re highly recommend everybody to read it but that is basically what it boils down to. There's some really, really cool takeaways, especially in the end with the chapters on hope, on giving up hope. In this book, there's also some super interesting like historical stuff. Like for example, there is one story about how the Russians, the Soviet Russians tried to hack time and basically change the work schedule to fit a different number of days in a week, which was five days. And then they subdivided the nation into different color groups and every color group got a different week schedule. And by staggering the weekly schedules, what they were trying to do was to keep the factories always running. And this, the author explains, pointed out another really important thing about time. And that is time always exists and we are always spending time. But the value it has is vastly different if we are spending time in synchronicity with other people around us. So for example, in Europe, a five-day work week and a two-day off period, which is 
basically the same for everyone. So it will be Saturday and Sunday off. Really is great for humans because they get to spend their time with other people. And spending time with other people is a big thing that the author explains is important for our well-being. And he talks about also the loneliness of well, basically doing what me and Blina are doing. So just hanging around in the world and not really having real friends or a lot of real friends. So our time is a lot. We have a lot of time to do what we please. For example, going on sunrise hikes. But I must admit it's true that not having time to spend with other people and sharing it with other people can be something that would enrich it even more. That being said, I don't believe this to be the whole truth because I personally really like being alone and spending time alone and investing time in myself. So I really value time that I spend alone. But it isn't just philosophical. There is an end section which has some real tips and tricks and things that you can concretely do like, for example, a different way of structuring a to-do list. And that can be really useful. It's a short section in the book, but I believe it's really meaningful. It has some really good takeaways. I think the author really did a great job with this book. It's not that long, but it's packed with stuff that makes you really think about time, how you spend time, what you value, what you should value, how social media is trying to distract us from what we really maybe should be focusing on, which is even way simpler stuff, like stuff that we, can, we do every day without even thinking, that maybe we can absorb ourselves more in the moment to make the most of it. The author states that if we absorb ourselves in time, time expands. So one week can actually last two weeks because it is more meaningful. We have, we have been more in tune with what we are doing and doing things that we value and time expands and that is a really beautiful thing that i believe to be true he states that photography is a way to make time dilate and that is true if i'm doing something if i'm going to see a sunset or if i'm going to see something and i take out my camera take a photo or my phone whatever i have it always seems to make the experience more meaningful it makes it expand in time and it makes it more meaningful because, the, as the author states, it connects us to what we are really doing in a deeper way by actively engaging with it, being more involved and absorbed by it. And I find this to be absolutely true. Dude, check out this bitch. So those are my thoughts on 4,000 weeks, time management for mortals. I believe it's a really awesome book and I would highly recommend it to anyone to read it, check it out if you are into time management, uh, productivity and all that kind of stuff because it has some takeaways that can really flip everything on its head. So definitely, definitely check it out. I would put it in the category of drop everything you're doing and read this book, type of book. Since I've been here, I've listened to and read a bunch of books, but this one is the first one that I really wanted to get some thoughts out on because it is a must, must read in my opinion. So what do you guys think? Have you read this book? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments or on the Discord channel. I hope you found this kind of review or thoughts useful and that it might invoke you to pick up the book and read it. I got it on Audible and I listened to it in one day. Completely got absorbed by it and I think it's really worth a listen. Hope you liked this video. Be sure to follow along for more self-development videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.